Oh, welcome back to my channel. Mm, what are y'all doing? Yes, we is back with another video. Eh. <laughs> so, as y'all can see by the title, we are doing a grocery haul, but under fifty dollars. Well, actually, everything came up to fifty dollars and some change. It's a healthy grocery haul on a budget. Not always do we have a lot of money to spend, but still want to eat right. So I just got a few things that last me for a few days, probably like a week or two, um, depending on, you know, how hungry I get. But let's just get into the video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment below if, you know, any of these food products you eat. <laughs> no, seriously, comment below if y'all have any health change goals that you're doing now in 2020 always understand that you don't have to have a lot of money just to eat healthy i just wanted to say that and yeah also turn your notification bell if you have not already so you'll be notified every time that i post and thank you to everyone that's been subscribing to my channel i'm so grateful really nigga seriously though i'm so grateful thank y'all so let's go ahead and get into the video so okay so let's go ahead and start with the haul um we're gonna start with the vegetables first obviously because that's mostly what i got um so first i got some sweet potatoes now i got the steamable ones because i like to make everything easy i don't care to do things the hard way easy pop them in the microwave split them in half add some cinnamon some grass-fed butter you, you know you when you wait so these are the steamables and I get about four to five of them in the bag and these are a great 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 source of healthy carbs this and brown rice I didn't get any brown rice um I only had $50 I mean <laughs> I wasn't about to use more money to get more carbs instead of vegetables you get what I'm saying yeah so anyway next thing I got are these steamables now I received I got a few of these. I got the green bean, and then I got the um, broccoli cuts. Now these are only like a dollar. Now if you don't have a dollar, sis, you you just you just being lazy. Now you got a dollar to get that McDonald's sandwich, so you can go spend a dollar and get some greens. Anyway, <laughs> these are like a dollar, dollar fifty max. So I like to rack up on these again. This was a reasonable haul, so I didn't get too many, but I did get a few. Okay, so the next thing I got, let's go for this. So, this is kale, as you can see. I got about four of these. These was only like 99 cent, I believe, 89 cent. So, I got four of these, and I usually cut these up and make kale salads with some cucumbers, tomatoes, cheese, and some protein in there. And then do a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette dressing and call it a day, honey. I might throw some apples in there sometimes. Y'all got to just, like, dress it up. Like, don't always keep eating the same foods because that's when you're going to get tired. And then that's when you're going to want to eat stuff that you're not supposed to be eating. Okay? Yeah. So, next thing I got is some spinach. And I got the baby spinach, to be exact, because I don't like my spinach real big. And plus, I like to put these in my smoothies. I also use these in my um, eggs sometimes. I mean, you can use this for a lot of different stuff. You can actually eat this on the side with a protein. But as we all know, when you cook spinach down, it's not a lot. So, by the time you make this with your actual meal, you're not you're gonna use this little thing so this was like a dollar and some change if i'm not mistaken next thing i got is some blueberries so blueberries 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 i use these for my oatmeal um sometimes i eat them you know by themselves but i don't really care to eat the blueberries by themselves so i try to put them in something else and then eat that way these are a great source of antioxidants if i'm not mistaken blueberries and blackberries are the lowest calorie berry you can consume so i like to get those i didn't get any blackberries this time but yeah i also got some strawberries now these i can eat by themselves without putting them in anything however i do usually add these to my oatmeal as well or add them in my smoothies you know something quick and easy to go and yeah that's these are about a dollar and something as well then i got some peppers if you all know the colorful your food is the healthier it is for you honestly peppers 
I just really like them because they're colorful. Like, if we must be honest, they make your food look good. It's still a health. It's still healthy, um, nutritious. So, just got some few little um, peppers here. I got green, orange, yellow, and red. And if I'm not mistaken, I think these were about two dollars for the little um, three pack, and then like sixty nine cent for the green one by itself. Okay, the next thing I got are lemons. Now these I use every day like every day when i make my green tea in the morning i like to put lemon in there sometimes i just drink lemon water the first thing i usually drink in the morning is green tea or lemon water or just plain straight um excuse me plain straight water like that that's just like a go-to for me um what else i use lemons for sometimes if i cook something and i want that little extra zesty taste you know i squeeze a lemon on top bring the flavor out some more so these come in handy. I should have got more, but again, I only had $50. So, next thing I got is asparagus. Even though I do like to get the steamables, I sometimes get fresh um, veggies as well. I don't usually get asparagus, but I love asparagus. Everybody know when you eat asparagus, it make your pee stink, y'all. Comment below if y'all notice that when you eat asparagus, your pee be stinking. I'm just saying that that was that was random. Anyway, sometimes I get broccoli too fresh, but the steamables last a lot longer. As y'all know, fresh vegetables they go bad fast. So I'm gonna have to make these first. Probably I probably make these today, matter of fact. The next thing I got are my go-to's, which are the tuna packs. Now, usually I just get the ones, the plain tuna pack, you know, low sodium, because it's you know it's, it's healthier but this is still fine too i like to get the flavor sometimes so i got the lemon pepper i got the garlic and herb this one is my favorite and then i got ranch even though <laughs> we know that ain't that healthy but y'all i throw these on top of my salad sometimes i eat them by myself I'll let's do that again sometimes i eat them by themselves with just nothing just open it pop it open eat it and keep it moving you know what i'm saying Okay, next thing I got is a cucumber. I don't need to really get into a cucumber. <laughs> Obvious. Oh yeah, and those tuna packs be like a dollar. So the cucumbers, I put these in my salads and <laughs> that's it. Next thing I got is banana. <laughs> banana. I love bananas, y'all. I remember I did not like bananas, but then my dad put me on to putting bananas in my oatmeal. Jesus. I can eat bananas by themselves, but I like to put them in my oatmeal. I also like to put them in my smoothies. These are great for potassium. Now, keep in mind, bananas do make you feel really bloated and full. So, I don't usually eat the whole banana. I usually cut it in half and then eat the other half the next day or something like that. So, next thing I got is some apples. Now, these are not just any apples. If y'all if y'all know about apples, Y'all know that Granny Smith is the... Oh! <laughs> the disrespect! Anyway, Granny Smith is the best apples in my opinion. Comment below what type of apples y'all like. I don't like them green apples. I'm sorry. I don't think an apple is supposed to be green. I'm just saying. But anyway, I like the Granny Smith apples. I put these, because sometimes cut them up, put them in my kale salad. Sometimes I cut them up, put them in my smoothies. And sometimes I cut them up and put them in my oatmeal. So this is good. I picked them up later. Uh, let me see if there was anything I did not go over yet over here. So, yes. Now we are done with veggies. Actually, I have one more thing, which is a tomato. And not much you can say about a tomato but anyway i put these inside of my um kale salad so next we're going to move on to protein now i only had 50 dollars, so i didn't get that much protein um aside from the tuna packs i did get some shrimp usually i like to get the shrimp that's raw peeled devein and then the tail on is fine with me i usually get large or extra large or colossal but i got medium this time you get 41 to 60 per pound, 30 to 45 per bag. So that's fine with me. These will last me for like two meals, so I like these shrimp. I love shrimp, y'all, I love shrimp. Next, I got some chicken breast tenderloins. And I got these for $3 and some change. And this is by Purdue with no antibiotics, 100% vegetarian, no animal byproducts, 
rage raised cage free and no hormones or steroids so if y'all chicken ain't saying all of that you don't need to be eating it like you need to make sure you pay attention to the chicken that you buying don't just pick up chicken and keep it moving and then you eating um steroids and hormones and you know is just, just we all know it's it's healthier chicken than this but i try to pick the most decent one out of the out of the bunch you know so yeah then i got some oatmeal it's about a dollar and 50 cent for this big one this lasts me a long time however i do need to rack up on oatmeal a lot because i eat oatmeal every morning um, sometimes I switch it up and eat eggs with turkey bacon, but most of the time it's oatmeal. And I get the Quick One Minute Oats by Quaker Oats. Then I got some almond milk. Now, I am so big on almond milk. I use almond milk for almost everything. I use almond milk for my oatmeal. I use almond milk for sometimes when I eat cereal. I use almond milk for my smoothies. So, this come in handy a lot, or if I want to eat some Oreo cookies and dip, dip them in there, but you know, that's, that's a whole nother video. So I get the unsweetened vanilla by Silk, and this is only 30 calories per serving, which is really, really good. So if y'all have not tried almond milk and y'all still drinking that whole milk, y'all need to do better, okay? Let the whole milk go. Don't nobody drink whole milk no more, I'm sorry. Anyway. Next, I got some Greek yogurt. I got plain Greek yogurt. As you guys know, if you are a lady, eat your yogurt. Eat your yogurt. But no, seriously, yogurt is good anyway. A great source of protein, great source of probiotics. I put these sometimes in my little parfaits with some fruit, some granola, you know, some cinnamon sometimes. Or I might just eat it by itself, you know, keep it moving. Or I definitely do make sure I put these in my smoothies, y'all. It's great in the smoothies. And then um, I got some eggs, of course. Great source of protein. I'm trying to win, win, win off of the white eggs and start with the brown eggs. So this is my second time trying brown eggs. I did like them, so I got them again. I got the 12 cage-free brown eggs. And this is the Walmart brand. So cool with me. And then lastly, I think that's everything. Yeah, lastly, I got some green tea. As I said already, I drink green tea every, every, every morning. At least I try my best to with some lemon and then, you know, keep it moving for the day. So that is everything that I got. Again, I spent $50. A lot of this stuff, as y'all can see, was only like a dollar, $2, $3 nothing is too expensive so if you choose to spend your money money wisely here or you can just continue to eat out every day and you end up spending the same amount of money no judgment no judgment y'all no judgment but i'm just i'm just saying you can still get quality nutrient foods that are feel good have you feeling good versus spending it on you know the wrong stuff so if you guys like the video be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video make sure to give me a thumbs up comment below um you know your suggestions tips i think the only thing i forgot was almonds i do love almonds i did want to throw that out there i usually get almonds but i only had 50 dollars so i just got majority of the stuff that i wanted and then almonds because they're like four dollars for the little can i don't be wanting to pay that so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye